Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today, let's learn about flux reversal motor. How do we proceed in this video? First, let us learn about why flux reversal motor is required exactly and then what is the electric motor principle so that we understand the basics of motor and go ahead for flux reversal motor understanding and then the advantages and disadvantages of the flux reversal motor so first let's understand this what exactly this question means this question means we already have dc motors induction motors brushless dc motors and srm motors and various other technologies what is the use of flux reversal motor now so for that you have to go to the next point why we need flux reversal motor we have dc motor and we know the disadvantages of dc motor like periodic maintenance because the mechanical parts are with the, the moving parts are always in touch with stationary parts so there will be wear and tear and there will be sparks which lead to the carbon um, carbon powder in this and so it needs a maintenance right we know that already and also we have operating noise is high lower efficiency because of how because of the main many constraints inside the structure so then we go on to the induction motor which is the next level where we don't have any contact for example for squirrel gas induction motor still we have a problem of low power density which is very critical do you know what is the power density power density is nothing but power per unit volume so for the same power if the volume of the motor is more or the size of the motor is more it is low power density so this is another issue which we are facing we were facing with the induction motors so then we thought of two different technologies which are of solving these problems for example brushless dc motors which real, which have high power density and then uh, we also have the easier control in the brushless dc motor also but there are some issues in the brushless dc motor which are magnets are on the rotor because of which there will be a constraint of the magnets for operating at higher speeds because the magnets are being fitted on the surface mounted of the rotor mount of the rotor so uh, and also high cost because of the magnets so these are the things which we have a negative negative things for uh, bldc motor and coming to switch reluctance motor the advantage of this is a very simple construction and the mechanical robustness is very good actually but the issue is uh, the lower efficiency because it do, it has just uh, windings on the stator and rot stator and the rotor is just a rotor with the salient poles so we still have many disadvantages and advantages for even this uh, latest technologies now we will see why we need this when coming to here we already discussed about this point also discussed about this topic so the mainly the disadvantages we can see are high cost due to magnet lower efficiency complex control so how can we tackle this problem then the new technology arrives which is nothing but flux reversal motor which actually is nothing but flux reversal machine can be explained as the motor evolved from the switched reluctance motor and lighter permanent magnet motor fitted so for example magnets fitted if you see here permanent magnets are fitted with the stator here also stator have the winding inside and then so it is basically a hybrid type even it has a permanent magnets and also stator winding added to each other which is giving aiding the flux also reversing the flux that is the reason we are talking as a flux reversal here we will discuss more in detail in the next step so if we are understanding this one we will go ahead for next so we will discuss here basic like electric motor principle first just to understand what exactly the motor principle how the torque is produced how is the flux lines are produced if you see here before starting we should understand this is like into it is going inside if you keep your thumb inside here the 
other fingers will be in that in this direction this is out uh, outside so if you keep keep the finger outside your thumb outside here so the other fingers will be in this direction the meaning of this is nothing but as the th keep the thumb as the current flow then the flux will be around it in the direction as just we discussed right now so coming to here this is only stator excited this is a stator this is a rotor just to for representative purpose if you see here the this is in this is out so in and out if you keep the all the fingers in the direction of in and out the flux line should flow in this direction and there is no excitation here so the flux line should flow this direction now if we go to the next step only rotor excited the flux lines will be coming around here in this direction as we just discussed here and then here will be coming in the opposite direction because it is coming out and this is in this is in this is out so you just we practice this using the thumb, thumb rule you will be understanding this when we go completely with the both stator and rotor excited here there will be a there will be a, a interference between both the fluxes for example some fluxes are flowing like this some fluxes are flowing like this so there will be opposite flux here due to this which reduces the flux in this area here in this area it will increase the flux so what happens basically there will be a flux bending here and coming to you know, the flux concept the flux we can assume like a elastic lines where they will try to straighten when they try to straighten what happens they are actually pushing the rotor to one side making it move which is nothing but the torque i hope you understood this so keep uh, just comment me on the uh, below so that we i can explain you better in the uh, if at all any questions in this we'll go to the next step now coming to flux reversal motor principle here we have a same stator same rotor stator and we also have the same uh, conductors here so only thing addition is the magnets permanent magnets are being fitted in the stator why this permanent magnets fitted here what exactly happening here now we know already we have a flux flow for example like this the permanent magnets will again give more and more flux adding to this so that it is adding the flux in one direction and also when it is in the reverse direction it is also uh, subtracting the flux so basically it is a flux reversal so what is happening here as we increase the flux reversal or flux linkages using the stator what exactly happening we are adding the flux we are adding the flux li flux linkage and also reversing the flux linkage making it zero at one point and coming to the lower side in another point so here basically we are getting a bidirectional flux and we are not talking anything about the rotor right now rotor is still don't have any power so we are just talking about stator and the magnets Im embedded under this so what ha what's exactly happening here the flux is going from zero to it's adding up because of the directions which i just explained you in the previous slide and then go to the peak positive flux linkage and go back to zero at one point of time as you uh, change the current in the stator you cannot change anything with the magnet you only can change the current in the stator so uh, then it goes to the negative again on other side which is making the flux linkage in the negative direction so overall if you understand this why we say the flux reversal here because we are able to make the flux positive side and also we are maybe able to make the flux negative side also we have a different level wide range of flux operating flux in the air gap here hope you are clear about this this is the reason we are telling it as a flux reversal motor now in this condition when there is a rotor with the power also then what happens this flux also interacts with this uh, uh, this particular flux link is and give the torque accordingly so what happens even the torque also will be varying uh, varying uh, definitely definitely using this particular uh, format so basically the completely overview of this thing is there is a uh, this motor helps us this motor configuration helps us to control 
the flux from zero to peak flux linkage and also to come to zero again come back to minus negative side of the flux linkage so this is the reason we call it as a flux reversal here basically flux is getting reversed to the net flux so that we are getting the, the variation in the flux is more defined here okay coming to the over, overview just have one more example how the flux uh, reversal machine operates if you see here if you see here this is the this particular configuration stator this is the uh, stator also also have the magnet and this is the rotor and this particular thing only magnets are being uh, excited here so we see the flux linkage uh, how is that there is no flux linkage here because the winding is here the flux is just around the magnets coming to this area if you see here uh, when we are ex uh, when we are doing the flux flow with the stator excitation and magnetic strength so we previously here we are not exciting the stator but here we are exciting the stator also so the flux is actually crossing across the flux line so there is a flux linkage here which is a maximum positive flux linkage is coming here i just explained in a different way in previous slide coming to here we are having again one more condition here where only the magnets are being used here and so there is no any flux linkage so literally there is zero flux linkage and without stator excitation so coming back to the this stage where you will have uh, ma uh, the magnets have its own flux and also stator have its own flux so there will be a net flux which is making a maximum negative flux here and flux flow and the will be flux flow with stator excitation and magnet strength is being used here so if you see here there are four different cases being observed here so now you understood the complete flux reversal machine operating principle how it is operating and what is the basic idea why the flux is getting reversed so now we will go to the next step of what are the features what are the advantages disadvantages of this flux um, uh, reversal as we just discussed it just now uh, it can be operated in uh, four quadrants because we just discussed there is uh, the you can see the flux is in the positive negative side also so it can be operated in the motoring mode and generating mode because of positive and negative flux linkages as there are permanent magnets in this uh, magnet circuit you know permanent magnets permeability is like air where uh, so it is leading to a higher reluctance actually it is leading to higher reluctance so what happens and it links with the higher reluctance nothing but low inductance because of low inductance what happens there will be a very quick current response so whenever there is a quick current response you know uh, torque is proportional to current so very good very quick torque re response in this particular category coming to disadvantages there will be high coiling torque because there were uh, the the magnets are nothing but air and there will be the air gap you know is non uniform here so air gap is if it's uniform there will be a coiling torque is less but if the air gap is uh, non uniform the coiling torque is more and also high core losses because the operating flux will be more than the existing flux uh, so existing motor because uh, it has got magnets and also we have uh, the winding also added wind, winding uh, electromagnetic flux also being added to it also it has got high harmonic torques as we go next step we have uh, simple structure the advantages would be simple structure of SRM we are just following the same we are just adding the magnets into that so that it is getting more magnetically powered in addition to the electrical powered suitable for mass production because it's a very simple uh, construction and uh, high power density as we just discussed that it will have a better uh, like more power for a unit volume when compared to other induction motor and dc motor and suitable for high speed applications because we are able to uh, control the flux in very good way good control because uh, because as we just discussed the flux can be controlled very fine finitely so it can be it is the advantage here and simple control as a BLDC motor can be. Hope you understand this flux reversal motor principle. Uh, please do subscribe my video. 
and give thumbs up if you like the video comment below for any other technical uh, topic to be discussed thank you very much have a good day